I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to find the rate of speed in miles per hour in algebra. So the first thing we have to look at is this idea of miles per hour. And what do those mean? Well, miles is a distance. Per is like division, so it's a fraction line. An hour is the time. So we're learning about distance per time. Now when we, you deal with an hour, it means per one hour. When you're dealing with miles, it can be any number. And when you're dealing with distance, it can be any number. So for example, let's say Bob, we're going to name him Bob. He's got to be Bob. Bob goes 60 miles in two hours. So they'll ask how uh, many miles per hour does Bob travel. So we have to set it up as a fraction, distance per time. So how far does he go? 60 miles. So 60 per over 2. And that is the same as, well, we want 1 hour because it's per 1 hour. So we put the 1 down here where the hours go. And we don't know how much miles he's traveled, how many miles he's traveled. So we're going to call that x. And that's how we introduce algebra into this equation, by variables. So now, we have a fraction, an equal sign, and a fraction. What do we always do? Cross multiply. So 60 times 1 equals x times 2, or 2x. So that means 60, I'm going to bring it up here, equals 2x. Now we just want single x, so we divide the whole equation by 2, giving us 30 equals x. So that's how you solve miles per hour with algebra. I'm Charlie Kasov, and this has been a lesson in how to find the rate in miles per hour in algebra.